All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, we're here in the shop again, it's Monday. So we've been in here the past three days. Yeah. So, but we just got done pulling the transmission. Basically Everett and Tony pulled it. Um, I helped a little bit, but we found our problem. Um, as y'all know, we ended the last video, we had a broken convertible. And we were very puzzled as of why it would be broken. But after pulling the trans or trans out, I kind of looked at it and I, and we found a problem. So what I'm gonna do here is bring you up and show it to you. And let me flip this around. Here's the uh, torque converter, and here's the one that snapped. If you can tell, um, it's broken off in there. But what we found out is after looking at them, I was like, you know what? You can see on these. But well, you can see it was shaping or moving against it or whatever. But anyways, after seeing that, I was like, what the heck? Because that's where it was rattling, it's because it was moving there. And come to find out, our torque converter bolts, um, this is a different torque converter, and they are actually bottoming. too long. Yeah, they are bottoming, right. bottoming out before they torque the flex plate down. So... They were all torqued down, they just weren't, the flex yeah. plate just wasn't tight. The flex plate, was, flex plate wasn't tight, but that is our problem, I guess. Um, we got ARP bolts along the way, and you know, you just never, we never thought about checking that. I mean. Now I know somebody's gonna say something about the torque converter being rusty. And yes, it's a used one. It's a used converter. one. It was on the shelf for probably um, two years. And it, was, it, it didn't have any dirt in it, it was properly stored. Sam knew what he was doing when yeah. he stored it. You put a rag on it, zip tied it shut, or not a rag, a cap. Yeah, it has one of those. Well, you things. just pulled it out, flushed it, um, put new fluid in there, and dropped it in. But obviously, I guess the bolt holes are sh more shallow than the factory one. Well, look at the, so, the factory converter. You have it over here somewhere. It's over here somewhere, yeah. See, the hole goes the whole way through, yeah. and it has this piece here. So. Yeah, as you can, can see there. bottom out. Yeah, it can't. There. Yeah. Crap, now I'm spilling tranny food all over my leg. But yeah, you can see there it would go all the way through versus this one here. As you can see there, it just has a... Which the front of the converter on that one is a yeah. solid piece like this one is not. Yep. So yeah, they were bottoming out and basically um, we thought they were tight, but they weren't. They were just bottoming out in there. So that explains everything but I guess we'll go in and probably smooth these off um, with a flat piece or a block or something and a little bit of sandpaper. Yeah, block them down and then check our um, new bolts, make sure they go in there far enough and we can, get, we can get a good torque on them. So, but yeah, we're gonna easy out that one out, whatever we do, and then um, go from there. But today's Monday, the new converter bolts should be here tomorrow it says. It said guaranteed Tuesday delivery. Yeah, I guess we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Perfect. Okay, what's up? Um, we just got done putting everything back together and got it back on the ground, as you can see. 
but it ended up it's not that big of a process we didn't film too much of going back together but um, it's basically lift everything up um, put all the bolts in and tighten the torque converter bolts down um, we ended up we're in the hardware store we found some bolts that were a little too long um, ended up uh, trimming them down a little bit but we put Loctite on them put yeah. them in tighten them down everything seems good everything's good so we're about to fire it up again so i'll probably hand him the camera here and we're gonna fire it up again okay so um everybody that wonders about the mods on this is a 10 mil cp3 conversion and then i had midwest truck products they took my stock uh charger turbocharger and basically they milled it out almost thought i was agreeing there but they milled the compressor housing which is the front side they just milled that out a little bit where they could fit a uh, 64 millimeter six blade billet wheel in it so it pushes a little bit more air than a stock one but not it's not gonna be crazy but it definitely sound you can definitely hear it and yeah. you hear the air it pushes a lot more air through there but the biggest thing i can tell difference is it's probably because of the 10 mil cp3 it really comes up out of the whole lock quicker it has more consistent uh high rail pressure than it did with the cp4 stock injectors though right I wasn't helping. <laughs> he was the one that was doing that one. She ain't on there no more. And that's a that's a that's a big ass line. That's a big line. You gonna tighten down this time? I did. It's nice and tight. It's not gonna leak. We have a little mess here, but that's alright. Took care of it. But it was just the lower not the lower lower radiator. Lower, yeah, lower radiator lower hose. hose. Going up to the water pump. From, from the radiator to the water pump. It's like a three inch line, three and a half, and it, he forgot to tighten it. <laughs> but anyways, so far it's running good. Uh, I'll probably end up driving it home tonight. And yeah, hopefully maybe tomorrow I'll get a trailer, hook it up to it, really try to get some heat in the motor for quite a bit of time and seat the rings out. Um, other than that, I'll probably kind of just drive it kind of aggressive and try to get the rings to seat and get it broken in. Um, we might, I also thought maybe the weather's pretty sh**, but I don't know if by the end of the week maybe just we got a dyno, a dyno here local and we might just run over there and put it on the dyno once and see. But I don't know. So that's another one of this pile, I guess. Hopefully it will be more reliable now, but, huh? it's a bunch of things, <laughs> a bunch of hands have been in it, but <laughs> anyways, is that it? Is that everything? I think so. So far it's running good. It's not, it's not making a ton of blow by. So. As far as I've seen, there was no blow by, which fresh rings, I didn't even see it. So you don't really know what to expect. Yeah. It's um, not knocking. There's no noises that shouldn't be yeah so. and now that way you got the right bolts in the converter oh you're not supposed to use factory bolts in a dpc torque converter or any aftermarket torque converter which yeah yeah that's the reason it was rattling oh but thanks to jay bless his heart he tells us everything we need to know sometimes it's a little late like after the fact <laughs> like oh yeah uh-huh that you should you don't do that. definitely not do that oh we did that <laughs> we did that yeah 
Because we didn't know any better. Now we know better. <laughs> yeah. Oh. But anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up. Thank you all for watching. Appreciate you guys. Um, hit subscribe, like, comment, whatever. Check us out on uh, Instagram. Fortune Boosted. Sam G. Rich. And what is yours? I don't know. T. Yoder 23. T. Yoder 23. So, and Steve, which he's not here right now, but he's always in around, around here helping. Um, G. Rich, G. Rich Steve. Steve. Yeah. So that's going to do it for now. Um, thank you all, and hope you all enjoyed, and we'll see you on the next one.